of a Dalek here. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Top 10 Freakiest Alleged Poltergeist co on Video. Guys, I think, hang on, I'm getting composition here. Guys, I think I'm screwing up because, because mm, me and my dad, we encounter a fair share of ghosts. I'll tell you about it in uh, story time tomorrow, maybe. But, yeah, I think I'm screwing up here. Anyway, this is Silver Dog, and today, <sighs> let's get this story. I, I screwed up the intro. From plates being pulled off tables to pets acting as if they sense an unwanted presence, here are 10 freaky alleged poltergeists caught on video. Number 10. This was the footage captured on CCTV in the Carlisle Castle Hotel. The first camera shows a small dining area where a white transparent figure resembling a person is seen waving its arm in front of the camera. This goes on for almost 30 That's seconds. That's the ghost of a teenager. Then the video cuts to another teenager. camera aimed at a bar. Right as this guy opens up the fridge, two bottles fall out from one of the compartments. Now the first one is a bit understandable, as it seems to already be sitting on the edge, but a second bottle also follows after the first one, and it Run, falls out bitch. at an angle that looks Run. as if it were pushed. And then in this final scene, in public view for many guests to see, a glass suddenly breaks on the counter behind the bar. If you look closely, it appears that the glass fell down from above, probably where the other glasses were hanging. So were these three strange events something of a hoax, a coincidence, or is the Carlisle Castle Hotel really haunted? Not going there. I'm not going there. I'm, any of these places these poltergeists are found, not going there. Number nine. So we see a nope. young woman sitting and eating alone in a buffet. Moments after she gets up to get another plate, things start to move and fall off the table. We don't get to see what happens when she returns, but if this were to be a hoax, the participants would have had to have known where the surveillance camera was pointed and somehow attached strings to the objects on the table without catching any suspecting or curious eyes of Look at that employees. Table. I saw that move. Plus, the reactions the people sitting at the other tables give isn't really something you would expect if they were looking at some strange guy sitting pulling strings to pull dishes off a table. You would expect them to look longer out of curiosity, but then again, maybe it's also not the kind of reaction people would give to something falling off a table all on its own. If this is a hoax, would performing it be a bit difficult? Probably. Would it be possible? Yes. Was it a hoax? That's up for you to decide. Not going there. There goes your food. Number eight. In this one, we see a guy shopping in a convenience store when a small pink object seems to float out from the shelf behind him, while at the same time a yellow object of the same size falls off the shelf onto the ground. As the guy picks it up, the floating pink object falls to the floor as well. Check this out. This guy here. Watch behind his head. Keep watching. Just, just look at the shelf. It's the weirdest thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. You see that? You see that? That pink thing is floating. You see that fuck shit? Dude, run, run, bitch! Get out! Run! Nope, not going there. Not going there. Here's another video in a small store with things falling off the shelves. From this angle, it appears these items fall off the shelves from different levels at completely different times. Look at you screwing up. Ron! Yeah, you better get now out of there. On the topic of convenience stores, check out this weird footage Why is of the there? shopping cart. I'm not going there. I'm not going to any of these places, guys. In a small store. Apparently, ghosts have to do their shopping at night. For real. For real. Is that a ghost of a woman shopping? That she has stuff in it. Wow. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. That is actually kind of freaky. 
Number seven. This innocent employee of what appears to be a part. I swear to God, I've been there. Party store is minding his own business doing stock work when the merchandise that he throws on the floor begins to slide away on its own. He seems to take notice of the sounds of the sliding objects, but looks in all the wrong directions. When something falls off the shelf in the background, the employee takes off running. That's actually smart. That's smart. Dude, why are you looking in the wrong direction, you stupid shit? What falls off? Ghost want attention. Oh, that was a light. Run, bitch! Number six. In this clip, recorded on security cameras in the Brookside Theater in Romford, a chair moves backwards unaided, and the table appears to get pulled as what? orbs of light float across the room. Theater manager Jay Seppel revealed that he decided to look at the CCTV footage when he came in on Sunday. Guys, I am getting goosebumps, and there's only 10 minutes left in this video. Why? And noticed one of the chairs was askew. After checking the CCTV footage, Why? he noticed a chair in the third row appeared to move backwards unaided. He quoted, I never usually check the CCTV cameras as there's so much on there, we would only ever check it if there was an incident, he said. Roy Roberts, a medium performing at Brookside on Saturday night, believes that the video could indicate a resident ghost at the theater. Number five. This video is said to have been recorded in a Malaysian hotel. A woman sitting in the hotel dining area appears to be attacked by a ghost. It first moves a few chairs, but when she tries to make a run for the door, it proceeds to throw a table and chairs up against the door and even throws a table in her path, and it looks like she gets hit and knocked out. Run, bitch! Get out that fucking door! Run! Run! Oh my god, the camera has static! Oh hell no, it's slender! It's slender! That's creepy. Number four. This one is the CCTV recording in a public library after hours. You notice there are two things circled, one being a book and the other something hanging from the ceiling. The book suddenly begins to seemingly levitate on its own before being dropped back down, all while the object in the background hanging from the ceiling seems to begin spinning on its own. Was somebody in the library after hours just to pull a prank? Or is there some kind of entity living in this library, simply looking for Not a good Not going meeting? there. Not going there. Nope. Number three. This is the footage shot by a fellow YouTuber. It starts out with the man trying to catch footage of his pet's strange behavior. For the good first half of the video, he tries to get his dog to come out from under the bed. Then hears a knock from up in the attic and decides to check it out. Hey, what's the matter, girl? Come here. I'm what's the matter? Okay? Look at the animals! My god. Come here. Come on. You okay? Yeah. Aw, love dogs. Oh my god. Look at the what animals, though. They're scared shitless. Is that girl? Oh my god. I've actually seen this house before. Oh my god, look at the animals. They're scared. What is that? You're gonna check it out? You stupid idiot! Bet this has never seen the grudge. Guys, do you think he's ever seen the grudge? Nope. He's gonna die. Have you seen he hasn't seen the grudge or he's just stupid? What? Or both. Both is good. From Road to Diablo. Why are you checking that shit out? Any moment, he's gonna. Oh my god, no. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die with the camera in his hands, and it's gonna be creepy as crap. He's gonna die. 
He's about to die. Oh hell! Don't go, go back up there, you stupid shit! Oh, would you do that though? I'm scared, guys. I'm not joking. This is literally giving me goosebumps. Run! Oh god! Only six more minutes! Why'd the camera move? What? There's like a shadow right there at the corner! And it moved! Number two. Number two. That scared Another me. YouTuber posted the footage of the camera he placed on his. Bet it's the same house. Kitchen table when he wasn't home. This one needs no description. Just watch and be the judge yourself. You see all that shit flying? Ghost hate to be recorded. There's fruit. Dude, this is scaring me. But the shattered glass all over the house now. This ghost is pissed. Oh, Jesus. Oh! I did not like the part where the chair went up on the table. And he still lives there? How stupid can you get to still live in a house that is haunted with a poltergeist that's going to do that much damage to you? Sorry, I need to get into a comfortable position. But Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you people? Number one. During oh, the God. early hours of November 1st, 2012, security watching CCTV monitors at an office building in Manchester witnessed a startling series of events in which a ghost seems to wreak havoc in the office. This is the actual footage now? seen by those security guards as they switched from camera to camera. I swear to God, I might have been there before because I recognize those signs. Man, I don't like this. And I encounter ghosts. That not moved. I'm in a room by myself, and I keep hearing freaky stuff. I don't like this. Man, this is giving me goosebumps just looking at it. That scared the shit out of me so bad, guys. I'm not joking. I am scared shitless now. 
You're gonna mess up the entire room. Okay, just long important files out of the uh, filing cabinet. That'll get the best, literally. God, that that's scary though. Oh, Jesus! Now I know where that room is. The papers are coming out underneath the doorway. Okay. They're sticking to the lights! They're sticking to the lights up there! Man, this is scaring the malevolent hell out of me. Computers, man. Man, that music is scaring me. Mr. Nightmare, you're a douchebag for showing me this bullshit. <laughs> douche. Just douche. Anyway, guys, this is Silver Dog signing off, and I'm probably gonna have nightmares now. Thank you, Mr. Nightmare. <laughs>